hello and welcome to my channel this is mary the farm girl today i'm gonna share with you tips on how you can secure a job in canada so this is not an easy task but it is possible you are among millions of people applying for these jobs in canada and a simple rule of nature says some will be hired and others won't the best part is that we can manipulate the side we fall at if we diligently do all the work needed to make us win. I have divided this into three major sections. Number one is the job selection. Number two is the preparing of your documents for job application. And number three is preparing your visa. So we start with number one, job selection. So tip number one on how to select your jobs is to apply for jobs you qualify most for. Have you been applying to every job you come across on the job bank website regardless of the paperwork needed? Not unless you are aiming for the unskilled jobs, be specific to your aim to your field if you want to be hired for the jobs in demand. The eligibility criteria written in each job description should match your skills and knowledge, and this will make your application stand out among other applicants. Tip number two in job selection. Apply for LMIA exempt jobs in Canada from the Atlantic Immigration Program. So here you will not need a job offer, but your NOC code must be in demand in these provinces. So what happens with the job offer is that you will need uh, an employer to give you a job before you land yourself in Canada. But with these uh, programs in the Atlantic immigration, then you will not need somebody to give you a job for you to go there. And this makes it a little bit easier because you can actually apply to any job and get hired without needing a job offer before you land to Canada. So what are the programs that you can do this with? Number one is the Saskatchewan Provincial Nominee Program. Number two is the Cub Cubic uh, Skilled Worker Program. Number three is the Alberta Provincial Nominee Program. And here you will be selected from the Express Entry Pool. Number four is the Nova Scotia uh, Nominee Program. Number five is the Prince Edward uh, Island uh, program and this you will also be selected from the express entry pool and then number six is the Ontario immigration nominee program so the jobs that you can apply for these uh, provinces are in the information technology data analysts computer sciences uh, scientists uh, you can also apply for truck drivers jobs you can also apply for a career in healthcare caregivers and as a nanny apart from the atlantic immigration programs you can also apply through the global talent stream which is a good choice since employers do not need an lmia assessment to hire you once accepted you get your paperwork and work permit and within two weeks you're able to work in Canada so the global stream is something that you wish to consider as early as now now the tip number three in selecting your job is that you need to apply largely to LMIA approved companies now in the second step we said that you should apply for LMIA exempt companies but if you do not find yourself or a job in these LMIA exempt companies, or probably you don't wish to settle in one of these Atlantic uh, provinces, then you can apply for the LMIA approved companies. There are multiple jobs that have been posted by companies that have been LMIA approved. So this makes it easier for the employer to hire you, especially if you are a foreigner currently living in your country of origin. So you should target uh, your applications to provinces and locations most Canadian residents are not willing to work at and this include the rural areas like Thada Bay or even the cold areas in the northern territories if you are applying for the LMIA approved jobs remember to consider these areas that most Canadian residents will not be willing to work from so that your chances of getting the job will be a lot more higher now we go to the second point or our b point which is preparing your job application document tip number one get your education credential assessment report the education system in canada is different from most systems in africa 
Asia and most parts of the world. Getting the documents verified to illustrate which level of education system matches your skills and knowledge ranks your job application even higher. It will cost you a non-refundable fee of at least 200 to 250 Canadian dollars but you will only need to do it once and use the reports given to apply for multiple jobs. To do this, you must use an organization on this list from Citizenship and Immigration Canada CIC website. If an organization isn't on this list, the government will not accept assessments from them. A. University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies B. International Credential Assessment Service of Canada C. World Education Services D. International Qualifications Assessment Services, IQAS, E, International Credential Evaluation Service, F, Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada, and G, Medical Council of Canada. Tip number two in preparing your job application documents is to obtain your IELTS exam report. So most jobs in demand such as in healthcare, management, supervisory, truck driving and technology related will need you to show your language results. You should save up for these exams, read and revise religiously and then take the test and aim for a band 8. So most employers or even the government will ask you to get a 7 in speaking, writing and reading but you should aim to get an 8 so that you can earn even a free point whenever language are needed. It is all about making it hard for employers to resist your applications by standing out against your competitors. So while those other applicants are having bad 6, 7, you should be aiming at 8 so that you can stand out against them. Tip number 3. Create a cover letter and a resume that matches the description of each job you are applying to. You should use the Canadian format. So each job is unique and you have heard this a million times. Canadian employers receive thousands of applications from job seekers like you across the globe. Your application must therefore stand out as unique as possible for the hiring manager to spot you. Mostly, they will use the applicant tracking system to sort the documents before a human resource manager handles the final selection details. Now, using keywords from the job description will increase the chances of him or her viewing your application after the ATS machine sorts them out. Check this uh, the video on the link above and see the things that you should include in the resume and your cover letter. Tip number four, create an express entry profile. And this is for skilled workers. So since COVID, the government invited the least number of immigrants through the express entry pathway compared to the previous years. Luckily, the process has reopened in, and in July 2022 and the Minister uh, Francis promised to reduce the backlog by creating a special team to speed up the process. So this makes it a better time to create your profile if you haven't and be among those who will be selected in the next six months. Remember, with this profile, you get 600 st straight points if you selected by a specific province. So the details needed for your express entry profile are your work experience, your language, remember it is a band 8 in speaking, reading and writing, your age, education uh, plus the ECA report, especially for those out living outside Canada, adaptability or how well you can sustain yourself in Canada, job offers which is optional. If you do not have a job offer but you have higher points in other areas then you're a good to go. Tip number five, apply to specific provinces through the provincial nominee programs. So we have already mentioned the Atlantic provinces uh, program, but you can also remember to use other jobs or jobs in other provincial nominee programs. So show your potential employers that you are interested in moving to their specific locations by creating profiles for specific provinces. So this is important uh, during job fairs as employers were willing to see how interested are you willing to move in this territory at large and not taking advantage of the vacancies in their companies. Tip number six, apply for a one-year uh, course and land your feet in Canada. 
If Canada is your dream country and you look forward to becoming a permanent resident, taking a one-year course might be the strategy for you. So international students always get their permanent residence applications approved. During your study, you can work as a part-time employee in restaurants, farms, factories, and, or as caregivers and, Canad and get Canadian experience. After one year, you will apply for an open work permit and expand your experience by working your way up to the job that suits your caliber. This course is your entry to Canada Technique and once in the country, you can get your freedom or you can use your freedom wisely to secure a well-paying job. The question is, are you willing to sacrifice a year and your school fees? So those are the major tips that you can use in preparing your documents and getting your way to Canada without needing a job offer. Because getting a job offer sometimes can be difficult, but if you get to navigate your way without a job offer, then you're good to go. The last section in these uh, tips to help you get a job in Canada is to prepare your visa or prepare for your visa. And to do this, you will need to have a few documents. For example, a passport valid for more than six months since the day you will start working in Canada. So if you already have a passport and it is about to expire, you need to consider renewing it before you apply for the jobs or as soon as you apply for the job so that it will have a validity of more than six months once you get hired. Number two is to have an appropriate uh, Canada visa application form. Remember, you can do this online so you don't have to uh, print out the forms, but you can do this online, fill up the forms, upload the documents required, pay the fees, and then wait for your uh, application to be approved. Then you need to have a proof of clean criminal record. These are things that you can get even before you get yourself a Canadian a job offer or even before you get uh, you apply for the jobs so that by the time you are getting the job, then you are ready to apply for your visa. Then you need to show that you have a proof of being in good health or the biometrics through a medical exam. And then you need to have photos in accordance with the photo requirements for a Canadian visa. So remember the tips that I have given you today are for people who are willing to go the extra mile beyond just sending the resume and your cover letter via the email uh, given by your employers to get hired. You need to play extra because there are millions of people that are looking for these jobs in Canada and for you to get and to stand out, you need to do extra. You need to provide the details. You need to read harder for the IELTS exams. And you also need to do the extra miles of providing the right documents, uh, preparing adequately, and applying for the jobs that you qualify for. These are going to make your application stand out. And whether or not you are in Canada, the employers are going to be having a hard time to reject your applications. So make sure that you follow these tips and I know that you're going to be able to secure yourselves the jobs that you require to move your lives ahead or even to just go and live in Canada if it is your dream country. So see you in the next video as we continue discussing ways that we can get ourselves to Canada